Hey, what's going on, guys? IO Studios here for another video. Uh, I know it's been a while since I uploaded. Uh, it's been about two weeks, I think, and I've just been busy with other stuff. I've been busy with school, doing some tests, um, and I just haven't had any ideas for good tutorials. Um, but today, I've got a tutorial for you. <clears throat> so, um, basically, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a nice glowing light bulb with some realistic glass, which disable the interactive render view. Um, <clears throat> And basically, uh, you're going to need to start out, you're going to need a model. <clears throat> and I'll just leave uh, the .c4d file um, download in the description. And it's basically just a bland um, light bulb here with, um, it's got two basic materials, so metal and glass, which we're going to be needing those. And we're going to need to replace those later. <clears throat> so yeah, just go ahead and download it. Link will be in the description. Um, okay, so now uh, the next thing we're going to do, or the first thing we're going to do, I guess, is um, we're going to add a nice little um, environment. So, objects, texture environment. Um, we're not even going to add an environment. We're just going to make a black environment. We're not going to do anything more than that. Oops, can I do that there? We're just going to do a completely black environment. <clears throat> and um, we're going to get started on, I think, the metal material for now, which is going to be the base of the actual light bulb. So, shader, C4D Octane, Octane Material. And we're just gonna, uh, let's see, let's let this one, let's see, that's the glass one. So we're just gonna drag, um, <clears throat> we're gonna drag our new Octane material onto the um, metal thing here. So we just delete that. That's just a placeholder material, kind of. Um, so we're gonna open this up, fire it up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, um, <clears throat> sorry, glossy material, node editor. Whoops, all right, my node editor's down here. I'm dumb. All right, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna do very basic. So your film index, seven roughness um i think we'll use a uh, we'll use a gradient for that i'm not sure i'm not doing anything special i'm not gonna do a fall off on the spec actually no i will do a specular fall off but okay so we got that there I'll grab that into our roughness let me just bring that like that <clears throat> see how does this look all right oh yeah also we gotta grab our diffuse we grab an RGB spectrum, and in our diffuse, we're going to use, we're just going to set it to 7%. And I go, that already makes a pretty decent um, material. We're going to add a little bit of a fall off, though. We're going to grab a fall off. We're going to add a gradient. We're going to grab RGB spectrum. We're going to grab two of these, actually. Actually, we can use the same one. Um, and we'll plug it into the start. And actually, we're going to set this to complex. So let's plug this one into the start. This one into the end, and this one into the input. I'm actually going to delete all of these. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, oops, this one should go into start and end. There we go. I'm going to plug this into our specular. And it adds a bit of fall off, makes it a bit more realistic. Um, so that's all we're going to do for uh, this material. Actually, I'm going to set the gradient here. We're going to set this one to 30%, make it a pretty reflective um, metal. All right, so um, let's see here. I'm going to add a little plane here. Yeah, I'll add a little plane. Let's see here. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll add a little plane here. I'm going to move the light bulb up a bit. <clears throat> We're going to rotate the light bulb a bit here on the plane. Make it a bit like, I don't know. Looks like it's actually on the plane. Let's see here. Yeah, move it like this. That's, that's good enough. It doesn't matter too much. Um, and we're going to actually grab our plane here. We're going to have to scale this up quite a lot, quite considerably, just to um, make sure that it's not accidentally seen. Um, so we don't see, um, at least so the fall off is smooth. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you'll see what I mean later. Trim this up quite a bit more. I got a new microphone, by the way. I'm not sure if you guys can notice or not, but there shouldn't be any weird background noise like there was before. Anyway, we've got that. Um, we're going to make glass material. So create, shader, C4D, Octane, Octane material. I will drag that onto the other one here because that's just a placeholder. Open it up. And um, first thing we're going to do, yeah, we're going to make it a specular. Index of refraction is going to be 1.517, which is the refraction of um, glass. And I always like to add a bit of roughness, like like unbelievably small amount of roughness, but but still there, like 0 0.001, 0, 0, 001 very very small amount of roughness in fact zero one i'll make it even smaller but just just never so slight amount of roughness um just a very small amount of roughness actually i'll do five that's good enough just a tiny amount of roughness okay 
Um, so we got that. Fake shadows, enable that. That's very important, actually. Um, and that's, yeah, that's all we need to do here. Yeah, that's all you need to do there. So, um, we're gonna actually, okay, so glass materials apply to that. And we're gonna, okay, so Octane's already running. Now, we're gonna make the actual part, the actual part that glows. So, and when you get your model, you'll have a bulb here thing, and it, I'll have a little bulb uh, null here. And so, like, the actual light bulb, um, which is the, uh, you know, the glass and the metal. Um, but then the, the light is the part that's actually gonna, like, glow. So we're gonna make a new material, create octane shader, um, and we're gonna drag it onto our light bulb. Let me just position my microphone a bit better here. There we go. <clears throat> so we're gonna uh, do that, and we're gonna make it a. Um, actually, it can be a diffuse material. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and it's gonna be. Uh, we're gonna grab the. Uh, let's find the emission here. Black body emission. Already looking pretty nice. And we're gonna make it. Um, so here, I'm sorry if you can hear any background noise. I'm sorry about that. Uh, black body emission. So your texture. Can I grab an image? Not an image texture. RGB spectrum. Texture there. Um, I'm going to make this thing. I'm going to use a nice, like, orange kind of color. I'll try to tweak this as much as I can to get a nice, like, glowy orange kind of red thing. Maybe that's a bit too much. Maybe make it a bit more yellow. Make a bit more orange. Um, yeah, it looks decent, but what we really need is we need some path tracing going here. So we're going to grab uh, path tracing, and that's immediately going to um, help our scene look quite a bit better. Um, now, we're going to need to tweak a few things here. So first thing we're going to do is um, samples, which we can't, we don't need to tweak that for now, but what's really going to make a difference here is our post-processing. So bloom, enable, and we, we want a lot of bloom. Quite a bit of glare. Actually, I think that we would benefit from some uh, hot pixel removal. Yeah. Not too much, but a, but a bit. Uh, it's actually going to unsharpen our image a bit, but yeah, a bit of hot pixel removal will probably help us a lot here. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, that looks decent. Um, let's see here. Post, yeah. Um, you know, bring down that like bloom power maybe a bit like that. I want to treat the color of this now. I want it to be like a, mm, I don't know. I want it to be kind of like a yellow one, but not too yellow at the same time. Mm, that's too realistic. I'm not going for a super realistic feel right now with the color of the light. I just want a nice like yellow, maybe even like an. I'll just do a more orange one, honestly. And I think it'll be fine like that. All right. So we got that going there. Um, I think that's all we're going to do. Settings. Oh, yeah. Render priority high. Kernels. Uh, parallel samples. Static samples. Yeah, bring that up. All the way. That'll help you out definitely. Minimize net traffic. Um, if you're using a Pascal GPU um, or GTX 10 something, um, disable that. As long, well, I mean, if you're using, if you're only using one GPU that says GTX 10 something, um, disable that because it will increase your render speed slightly. But if you're using like an AMD, actually you can't use AMD GPUs. But if you're using um, any kind of GPU that doesn't start with GTX 10, um, or you're using multiple GTX 10 somethings, um, enable that. But I'm gonna leave this off because I only have one GTX 1070. Um, so that's that. Uh, let's see here. One more can we tweak? Um, caustics. Yeah, caustics are going to make a bit of a difference here because we are actually going to have caustics. So caustics. Are, you can see our caustics right there. Um, caustic blur. I'll do, you know, I'll blur them quite a bit. And I'm going to move up the light a bit. And there we go. I'm not going to tweak this thing too much. I think we'll just do like that. We'll see how this thing, I'll, I'll let it render for a second. And we'll see how it turns out. Uh, it's pretty decent. I'm going to actually darken this one slightly. Let me find my material here. Black body emission. It's a bit bright, to be honest. Maybe a bit too bright. Oh, our temperature. Yeah, we want to change that a lot. That's going to make a difference. Uh, let's see your power. That's probably decent. Let's see here. Hmm. Trying to tweak this material as much as I can. Yeah, just like that. That's a decent amount. Um, it's not too perfect. And you guys just go and tweak this as much as you want to. Um, let's see here. Can we go and get... Let's see here. Uh, camera imager, post, settings. Can I... Where's the one that, like, rounds the edges for you? 
because I know there's one. I don't know if I can find it right now. There's a setting that allows you to actually. Yeah, it's not here. Uh, oh, well. Yeah, whatever. Um, I think that's all we're going to do, actually. I think that looks pretty decent. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty decent. Maybe we'll change the color of the floor, make a material for the floor, and then we'll be done there. Um, Octane material for the floor. Just so we can tweak it. Tweak the color of it, maybe. Actually, if we want to, we can do a, a reflective floor. That'd be interesting. Let's see how that turns out. Maybe I'll up the index quite a bit, actually. Hmm? That's actually interesting. Hmm. I don't think I'll do anything with that. We're not going to make a reflective floor. Um, but there's something actually that does remind me fuse here that I do actually want to do is um let's see here oh not that one um actually no we're not gonna do that it's fine I think we'll just um yeah I think we'll leave it here I'm pretty happy with this scene so far so um yeah if you guys enjoyed the video uh, leave a like subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah I'll see you guys later bye.